Joe Budden is a rapper and media personality who rose to fame through his successful podcast network, The Joe Budden Podcast. However, in 2021, the network faced a major setback when it was announced that it would be coming to an end. He made some interesting statements about the demise of the network in a recent interview of the Earn Your Leisure podcast. We will be exploring this issue and others in more detail in the video, so be sure to stay tuned. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so no, what, 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 what do you out. think some of the issues was with the, with the network? Was it the too many female too many shows off the rip? Too was many to name. Way too many to name. What's a couple? Oh, my God. God, God, <laughs> fucking shoot me. <laughs> what do you want, what do you want Somebody get me a cigarette. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say, buddy? I can't say too much because I still have a network. It's just ran differently. It's just ran differently. But I don't think that I was staffed in a way to deal with 10 or more creative people at a time. I think I underestimated this the staffing that needed to be in place to really do that the right way. See, because I keep thinking, we fuck up thinking that we're all so similar. And it takes a while for you to realize, oh shit, everybody ain't me. Mm -hmm. We ain't thinking the same on everything. I'm thinking, hey, and then I was in a basement doing cooking this up. I can cook this up. I can cook this up forever as long as I'm okay. Right? Like I can, I can fight the war. I can fasten my belt and get this done with a greater goal, greater vision in mind. Everybody don't feel like that. And there's nothing to be bitter at. Like, you can't resent that. You got to respect that. Right? So you're working with girls, they're girls. Girls might have a different vision than, than you. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Everybody, there's no one way to do this shit. And I think I took that for granted coming in. That's, you, just, that's just one. That's just one of the things. Do you think that the expectation of work was a little like I look at our situation kind of like as an independent label where the people on a network produce their own content mm -hmm. they produce their own social media clips we give them a voice we give them a platform we promote it but and they get a, a lot of the lion's share of revenue that comes in as a result of that it's like Koch Records but I could see it being extremely difficult if somebody's expecting you to produce content for them and you to do social media clips for them. Was that part of a problem? Or no, I don't want to say that. What I will say is this, right? If I'm the label and you're the artist and you feel that you went and made 10 amazing songs, at some point, if you don't hear those songs or you don't see the songs happening the way it's supposed to happen for you, you come into the label. You come into the label to say, hey. There are several factors that contributed to the demise of the Joe Budden podcast. One of the main causes was Budden's inability to balance the personalities within the network. The podcast featured a diverse group of hosts, each with their own strong opinions and perspectives. While this diversity was initially seen as a strength, it eventually became a source of conflict within the network. Budden and his co-hosts often found themselves at odds with one another leading to tension and disputes on air. This made it difficult for the podcast to maintain a cohesive and consistent message, and it ultimately led to the demise of the network. One specific issue that Budden struggled with was handling the two all-female podcasts within the network. In an interview, Budden admitted that he had difficulty working with the female hosts due to their differing work ethic. He explained that he felt they weren't able to put in the same level of work as he was, and that this created tension within the network. This tension may have been exacerbated by the fact that Budden is known for his ability to produce high-quality podcasts with minimal equipment. He has often spoken about his ability to create a successful podcast with just a microphone and a laptop, and has suggested that other people may be too concerned with having the perfect setup with top-quality equipment before they can start a podcast. Budden's comments about the female host's work ethic and the importance of a high-quality setup may have been seen as dismissive or condescending by some, which could have contributed to the tension within the network. In addition to the interpersonal issues within the network, the demise of the Joe Budden podcast may also have been influenced by the changing media landscape. 
In the age of social media and streaming platforms, it has become increasingly difficult for traditional podcasts to compete and find an audience. As a result, many podcast networks have struggled to stay afloat, and the Joe Budden Podcast Network was no exception. Despite the challenges faced by the network, Joe Budden remains a respected and influential figure in the media industry. He has since moved on to other projects and continues to be a popular and controversial figure in the rap community. In conclusion, the demise of the Joe Budden Podcast Network was due to a combination of factors, including interpersonal issues within the network and the changing media landscape. Budden's inability to balance the personalities within the network, as well as his difficulties in handling the all-female podcasts, may have contributed to the tension and ultimately the demise of the network. However, Budden's talent and influence have allowed him to continue to be a successful and influential figure in the industry.